Hello and welcome to today's demonstration of the WTIN.com Performance Textiles Intelligence Channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at the channel which you can find just over here and under where it says Intelligence and Performance Textiles. Firstly though, we're going to have to sign into the website. So we can do that in the corner over here where it says sign in, the top right hand corner. And if I just enter my details in here, put in my password and if you also want to click remember me that should keep you signed in as well so you won't have to do that every time now that's going to sign me in and you can see there it says welcome so I know that I'm logged in now and now we can go straight to the performance textiles page which is just over here so now that I've clicked on that you can see that all the information on here is now about performance so the information is in regards to sportswear, uh, the outdoors, and anything that is based around performance textiles. So if we go past these first three articles that you can see at the top, you'll see that the main focus of the channel is what we call the intelligence. Uh, now these are the different reports that we publish about performance textiles, and there's two main types of report. So those you can see there, a couple of examples at the top, of what we call the technical reports and those are from an R&D point of view and look at the very technical aspects of the latest innovation that's going on in these different topics that we're looking at over here. So the other type of report that we have available are market reports. Now those instead provide insight into different markets which is going to help you with your sales, your marketing and your strategic planning uh, within this sector. Those work by providing growth and trend reports uh, for different products, different regions, and on a variety of different topics. So those are more market-focused reports, whereas the technical reports are much more towards product development and will look at both commercialized innovation within performance and also research that's going on in academia. So we can take a look at some of these reports. Uh, now here is one example of a video report actually. So that's a little different. Uh, if we click on that, you'll see here this was recorded at a recent show. Um, so we're always attending all these different exhibitions and reporting on everything that's happened there. And this here is coverage from a recent trade show and where we had the opportunity to interview this gentleman and talk about some of the developments that are going on for smart materials being used in sportswear. And you so, can see there, it's quite an in-depth interview, almost 20 minutes long, but you can watch that on the page here and uh, see what this gentleman is talking about, what he envisions happening uh, in the future of smart materials. Now the other reports that we have, the other intelligence reports, uh, those will tend to be in a PDF format. So perhaps if we look at this one over here about odor control, you'll see that when I've clicked on that, we've now got the option to download a report. So I'm just going to open that up in a new tab. But what you'll see here before you download the report is basically what is going to be covered in there. And that's the table of contents. You can actually see all the different topics that this report will talk about. If I just go to the report here, I'm just going to zoom in slightly. Uh, now you can see that this is just over 20 pages long. So they are quite comprehensive reports. And there again in the, in the um, contents page. And there you can see the contents page again. So everything that is uh, covered in this report. And if I just scroll down, I'll uh, scroll through this so you can get an understanding of the level of detail that we go into. And if I just keep scrolling down, you'll see a few of these different topics, talking about all the backgrounds of those, all the technical elements. You can see there this summary here on current odor controlling technologies. So we're putting everything in one place. We're saying what is available right now to combat odor control in this circumstance. Uh, that's typically what we'll do with all the different reports. We'll uh, put together everything that's available right now, talk about the current technology, um, and then also the testing methods, so how you can actually see if these different textiles will have a certain level of odor control about them and how you can test for that. And here, just different categories of uh, testing. Now if we keep going through, 
we then get to the end of the report and the summary and outlook. So that's typically where we summarize everything. We say what we've learned from this report and the research that we've been doing. And then we'll also give any insight that we can into what we think is going to happen next with the latest technology that is available, where we see this moving in future. Now, if I close this report and just go back to the main page of the Performance Textiles channel, uh, you can also see the different market reports. So those are very much uh, similar to the technical reports um, in that they are in PDF form. But these will typically focus on different research that's been done finding out here if I scroll in again. So this one is talking about the results of a consumer survey and what we've discovered about all these different factors that will affect uh, consumers and the purchase of sportswear. So what they are actually looking for and uh, anything that might also influence their purchasing decisions. So quite a comprehensive report again, 24 pages long this time. You can download all these PDF uh, reports as well, just in the top corner here. If you click on that, that will let you download it um, as a PDF file. So if you do want to come back to this later, it can be quite a bit easier to do that if you do download the report instead. Now just going down again, you will see that we also then have company reports. Now these will typically look at the big players within sportswear and uh, performance in the outdoors. And if we open up any of these over here, you'll be able to see the research that we have available on these different companies. So this one here, if we scroll down, you'll see that firstly it gives an overview of the organization. So where they're based and um, how they're performing. Just underneath there, you can see the financials. And then uh, they're interested in looking at the uh, increase in business and here underneath that we're then looking at the production location so where they're actually doing their manufacturing so the next section then covers their environmental sustainability activism so this is talking about how this organization are planning to become more sustainable uh, it is a common theme in these different performance and sportswear companies that they are all trying to reduce their environmental footprint and this section here talks about how they're trying to do so and if they have any goals in becoming more sustainable how they're trying to achieve them now i'll just go down again we can then see the geographical operations so this is uh, their actual markets and where they're selling to and then just underneath we then have what they're actually selling so the current product portfolio and this here looks at all the different products that they offer and their distribution. So it's slightly larger for the men there, you can see, with that box being uh, just a little, little bigger. And then we have the distribution there for the different categories. So this is talking about apparel. And then underneath, it's the men's versus the women's there. So pretty similar. You can see just by these boxes, which are the biggest categories for this company. Now, I've just scrolled on to the next section there, which is probably one of the most popular sections, which is the future product pipeline and the R&D trends. So this area of these, these different company profiles talks about what the company is working on right now. So what they've been researching and what is their focus going to be in the next few years. Now, if we look at some of these headings here, you can see there they are expecting to grow their female business wearable technologies are going to become more popular so even just looking at those headings you can see where we think this company will focus their activities in the next few years so that's that particular company profile there again you can download those as a pdf and if you do want to look at all the others you just scroll through with these circles at the bottom there now the next section just to the right of that is then called product innovation and these look at the latest innovations that are going on within performance textiles. So with these, I'll just open up an example here. So what these product innovation reports do is examine any of the latest innovation that's going on, in this case, towards performance textiles, and actually look at the testing that's been going on to see if these innovations are actually something that's, that's really notable and uh, will have an impact on the existing markets. The way that we display these is in these four sections that you'll see here in green. So it starts with the purpose, which is looking at the actual proposed purpose of this new innovation. So in this case, it's talking about this wearable e-textile that has a coating with reduced graphene. And 
what it's doing next is then looking at the approach. So this is testing the actual textile here and saying, is it doing what we want it to be doing? And what were then the conclusions from that test? So then we look at the results of that. So what actually did happen, we're saying about that here. So if it did achieve it, if it overachieved it, perhaps didn't achieve it. And then looking at the impact. So the impact is then saying, so if this did come to market, what is the potential impact that this would have? Is this something that would change the market or is it not? So the product innovation, very easy way of just digesting these different innovations that are going on in performance textiles and looking at these four sections here and saying, basically, what does this new innovation mean for me? Now, I'll just go back to the main page again. And you can see a couple of more areas here if I scroll down. So we then have videos on the left there. So those are commonly either interviews or more coverage from different trade shows that we're attending. And we are always attending the bigger trade shows, especially for um, sportswear, the outdoors, anything like that. We're always attending those around the world and reporting on any findings there. So you will see a lot of video coverage there from the different shows or interviews with key players and academics that are studying and uh, working in performance textiles. To the right of that, we then have the Insight articles. Now the Insight are articles that are uploaded every day. So compared to the reports that we've looked at, the market reports and the technical reports, so those are typically uploaded around two or three times a month. You'll see a new report there, which is understandable because there's a lot of research that has to go into these reports. The insight, however, over here, these are articles. So if we click on one of these, you'll see that they take less time to put together and these are keeping you updated with everything that's happening from within performance and any related areas. And those can cover a variety of topics, giving you the latest updates on the whole performance textiles industry and also looking at sportswear and outdoor companies and any related events that might be going on. So you'll find constant coverage within the insights section there being uploaded every day so you can view all of that content over there. Now, just underneath that, I've just scrolled down there and you can see we then have what we call around the web. Now, around the web, interestingly, looks at other websites, uh, which is examining other sources of news and information and scanning for any keywords or phrases, anything like that. So this basically means that you can have coverage of what's going on elsewhere without actually having to leave the WTIN.com website. And that means that if we wanted to click on any of these articles here, so I could click this one and that will then take us to this third party website where we'll be able to read that new information over there. So it's just coverage of everything else that's going on around the web without actually having to leave the website. And just going down again, we then have our journal section. So the journal that we have, the magazine that is aligned to performance textiles is our publication called Future Textile. And now that's all about technical textiles, so sportswear does come under that as well. And there's typically six issues of this magazine published every year. So if you are subscribed to the website, you can expect to see six editions of these becoming available to you, along with any archive issues that you might have missed already. Now, reading these magazines is very much the same as a physical magazine. You've got the contents page here, and if you do click, that will just zoom in there for you. Now, you can actually click on any of these from the contents page if you want to go straight to an article. So we could click on uh, perhaps this one here about transport, and you can just read the article there within your browser. Uh, now, if you did want to download this, you can with the option there on the left hand side, just click that and you can download that as a PDF. But also you can actually search this magazine for mention of any terminology. So if you are looking for anything in particular, you can press the search magnifying glass there on the left hand side and then just uh, type anything that you may be looking for. So if it is sportswear, you can type in there the word sports and see how often that has been mentioned. Now I'll just go away from the magazine again and uh, I'll just go back to the page here. So that's everything that's on the performance textiles page, but we do have a few other features on here as well. 
So if you are looking for any content that's been published in the past, you can find that by using our search facility on the right hand side there. So I've just clicked that and that's opened up this panel on the side. Now we can limit the search by channel. So if we want to look what's been published on performance textiles, we can click that. And then again, we can look for any mention of any terminology that's been said on this channel. So if we want to say something like sustainability, perhaps, we can type that in, press submit, and that's going to let us know how often sustainability has been mentioned on this channel page. And there you can see the results of how often sustainability has been mentioned, and you can scroll through all these different pages here on any articles that you want to take a look at. Now, the search facility is great for finding out articles that have been published in the past. However, if you want to stay updated going forwards, we have a facility here in the top called the watch list. Now, the watch list works like a newsletter. And I'll just press create new so I can show you how that does work. So it is a newsletter. So you can see at the bottom there that you can choose how often you want to receive that email. So it's entirely up to you how often you do want to receive that, but I find it's good to get fairly regular updates. So what the watch list does is look for anything specifically that you are interested in. So it's a good way to stay on top of things without having to search through a lot of articles when there may only be one or two things that you really want to know more about. So you can uh, start by choosing from the sector. So with the performance outlook, we might want to keep in mind uh, things like technical textiles. So we could have a look in there and there are topics such as sportswear and wearable technology that we can click on there. Now that is already specifying what we want to know about, but you can then go one step further and say, how would you like to focus that information? So if we've already chosen sportswear and wearables, we can then open up the theme and the theme is what we want to know about sportswear and wearables. So we can click on any of these. So perhaps if we want to know more about events that are going on or sustainability or even any of the R&D that's happening in these areas, we can click on that. And again, each one of these that you click is going to make the results that come to you in that email a lot more specific. And then a couple of other filters, you can also choose to filter by region. So you've got all these different continents over here. And then you've also got the keywords option. So you can type in any keyword that you want. So if there is particular keywords, things like different industry terminology, buzzwords, or even different company names, you can type those in there and it's going to alert you whenever there's any mention of those particular keywords or phrases. So a few really good ways there to stay on top of areas that matter the most to you and make sure that you don't miss anything that could be quite important. Now you can have as many watch lists as you want and you can see here if I scroll up you can see a lot of different examples there. Uh, usually people are fine with two or three of these depending on what you'd like to stay informed about. So that's the watch list and that's a really good way of staying updated with more specific areas. Now you can also do that with the search but the watch list is going to keep you alerted going forwards whereas the search is looking in the past for any articles that have already been published. And besides that, you've then got access to all the different reports on the performance textile page. So all the technical and market reports, the company profiles, the product innovations, the video coverage, the insight articles, the around the web content, and lastly, the journals. Now, if you do require anything else, do feel free to send an email to sales at WTIN.com and a member of our team would be happy to get in touch with you and see if we can help you a bit more. Uh, but otherwise, thank you very much for your time. Goodbye.